who are the ones that are competing right now. Um, pretty much full time. Um, and Nika just got um, got cleared. She was in. Uh, um, she was in. A, I don't know what you call it. She didn't have COVID. She didn't have the flu. She didn't have. She was just worn out, just sick. So she just got cleared. So she's good to go now. So Nika's good. Paige is good. Uh, Lou's good. Um, Aliyah Edwards is good. How many is that? Four. 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 Uh, who am I missing? Mari, Ayana. Ayana's good. Although she just whacked her elbow yesterday. One of our practice players, their face was in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and Amari comes and goes, you know. Some days she's good to go, other days she's not. So we're at five and a half, I guess you could say. Huh? AZ? Uh, AZ, no. AZ does some individuals, but she is not um, yet going up and down the floor. And we're still trying to make sure that there's no lingering effects from what what her issues were last year at the beginning of the season. It was really hard to watch her and Paige sitting there, you know, two kids, they love to play, you know, and they, um, the two really skilled players and they're sitting there watching for, you know, a big, big chunk of the season. And, um, and, and I, I, I hope that that created a, a sense of, you know, I really want to make sure that I'm ready. I want to be able to play a full season. And, um, you know, so she went from not playing at all to playing great to somebody that we were really counting on and was carrying us for long stretches. Um, you know, and then she did not get an opportunity to do that in the last game. But, yeah, I think her season was indicative of pretty much the entire season. Well, if it's a walk-on, that doesn't significantly change anything, does it? So all it does is just add another person to our travel party that we have to pay for. So I de whether there's going to be a walk-on or not probably um, won't be known until f September when kids show up at school and say, hey, I want to play basketball. So chances of that are remote. Uh, as far as the transfer portal is concerned, it's a little late in the, in the game for that. Um, and I really haven't seen anybody that would significantly improve our program. So that's also another remote possibility that I don't see happening. Um, it's a weird thing in the, in the portal, right? If a kid goes in the portal and doesn't know where they're going and they, they're going to be recruited, then, you know, you've got to go through the whole recruiting process again, right? If a kid goes in the portal and two days later they sign with somebody, then you know they've they've been recruited all year long, and somebody's been cheating their ass off. So by the time you get to this point, there's really not a whole lot of really good players available. To our detriment, probably we're not one of those schools that has one assistant coach dedicated to the portal and calling AAU coaches around the country and saying, "Hey, is your kid happy that they want to transfer?" We we're not in that world. We don't operate like that. So the transfer portal for us is generally speaking something that that happens where kids graduate which in Lou's case in Dorka's case and they're looking for another opportunity to go do something different um, some kid that's just leaving after one year or two years because they're just dissatisfied with their situation I'm always a little bit leery about that um, so that's our philosophy uh, if there's somebody out there that we think fits who we are and what we're doing and, and fills a need that we think can help our program. And that's where we landed on, on Lou. Um, you know, she's finished playing. At, she, she fulfilled her commitment to Fairfield and was looking for a, an opportunity to, a, to, to play at a different level. And um, the way she played and the way Joe um, coached her is pretty much in line with what we do and how we do things, so I thought it was a perfect fit. You know, it's funny, their AD contacted me uh, after Lou committed here, and, and Paul said, you know, my 32 years of being in college athletics, I've never met a finer kid, a more competitive kid, a more engaging kid, a great teammate, 
and she's tough as hell. Um, and I've, that's exactly what I've seen since she's been here. And obviously, it's a big adjustment, you know. Um, Joe was very creative in how to get her a lot of shots, you know. Um, so she's used to having to work really hard to get open, and she's used to having to take, take tough shots. Um, she, um, she falls right into that category of, of a lot of our guards, except Nika and Paige maybe, that they're a little bit challenged on the other end of the floor. So we'll have to work around that. But um, she's exactly what I thought, what I thought she'd be.